Our planet is an amazing place that supports 8.7 million different forms of life. Like it or not, the duty of taking care of our collective home falls to just one species. As woodworkers, at the very least, we should have a self-interest in sustaining the resources that make our craft possible. Many of us are looking to live and work greener these days, and here at Lee, we're no different. So we've created this video to inspire you to woodwork in an ecologically friendly way. Here are five tips for sustainable woodworking. Stay tuned to the end of the video for a bonus trick that we think you'll want to try. Tip number one for sustainable woodworking is to think about how you source your wood. When you purchase, choose sustainably sourced wood with a third-party certification. There are numerous international forestry standards initiatives that audit forest management practices. The suppliers have to meet rigorous standards to become certified, so you can be comfortable that you're choosing a sustainable product. Even better, it's easier than ever to source recycled and eco-friendly wood for sale. Alternately, think about whether you need to buy wood at all. Can I use recycled or repurpose wood for this project? Instead of donating old furniture or throwing it away, can I reclaim that wood? Lastly, think about offsetting your wood shop's imprint by supporting tree planting efforts, either through your time and work, or by donating to the many worthy forestry recovery programs. Tip number two is to join a woodworking club or co-op. Many cities and towns have established woodworking clubs that meet regularly and are based out of places like rec centers or seniors communities. If you're a townhouse or condo dweller and don't have your own shop, there are co-ops popping up in cities everywhere. The better ones provide you with all the shop space and tools you could want. Think about all the resources it takes to manufacture tools and build and maintain wood shops. Sharing a workshop and tools means fewer materials are being consumed. Tip number three is to consider your power tools. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, power tools qualified in the Energy Star program use 30% less power. If all handheld power tools were Energy Star certified, greenhouse gas emissions would be reduced by 1.7 million tons. Quite often there are sponsor rebates on these products, so you can save money on the new tools, plus on your energy bill. Speaking of energy bills, have you explored converting your shop to an alternative power source like solar energy? There are some fantastic tutorials and explorations of building a solar energy powered shop right here on YouTube, and the cost can be surprisingly low. Tip number four is to have a plan for your scraps. As we talked about in tip number one, ask yourself, can I reuse or repurpose this scrap wood? If not, use the green services at your local transfer station, waste management facility, or recycling center. Many communities have services that will recycle paint, wood, metals, appliances, and old tools. Some will even come pick it up from you. Also, consider donating wood scraps to school programs or leftover paint to your city's anti-graffiti program. Tip number five is to make a beehive or other sustainable project to help your local ecosystem. Growing bee-friendly plants in your garden and making a safe and secure beehive is a small way to make a big impact. Bees are key contributors to the biodiversity of your local ecosystem. They make sure there's enough varying plant life to support the food sources for local wildlife. But beyond that, one third of the food we consume is primarily pollinated by bees. Beehives are traditionally made with box joints and Lee Tools makes a jig specifically designed to make beehive construction easy. The Lee B975 box joint and beehive jig is affordable and simple to use. Now, here's your bonus trick. Many paints and stains contain chemicals called volatile organic compounds or VOCs like formaldehyde. In short, when VOCs evaporate into the air, they're toxic. They harm us and our air. There are many VOC-free paints and wood stains on the market and we encourage you to explore those options. However, you can actually make your own all-natural wood stain. 
Homemade wood stain can be made with vinegar, steel wool or used nails, and a colorant like coffee or tea. There are many recipes you can follow online, but this is essentially how it works. Soaking steel wool or old nails in vinegar creates an iron acetate solution. Iron acetate reacts with the natural tannins in wood, altering the color. You can add coffee, tea, or even watered down VOC-free acrylic paint to add a splash of color. A note of caution here. As with any all-natural recipe, results will vary from batch to batch, so it's best to stain a project with the same batch. Have some fun experimenting with the different recipes to see what you like best. Homemade wood stain is an inexpensive and ecologically sustainable way to finish your project while still providing the look and protection of a commercial product. Please take a moment to let us know what you think in the comments and if you have any tips and tricks of your own to add to our list. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel to keep up to date on all Lee Tools products, tutorials and info. We'll see you next time.